scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Dear It's God's idea that every territory, please listen, it's God's idea that every territory would have apostolic and prophetic voices that can speak the purposes of God over that territory. When a territory lacks true apostolic and prophetic voices, then that territory becomes a victim of controlling powers. Powers that control and manipulate the destinies of people. It is God's idea that at every given point, there be an apostolic and a prophetic center in every place where those who are hurting, those who are grieved, can run to and expect like an altar that is built in that city or in that territory an altar that represents the center for kingdom activities an altar that represents a platform where the reality of the christ life can be experienced and when a territory lacks this provision then the result is sickness death deprivation of dignity it's always God's idea that there should be platforms at least in a territory so that people can run to like a thirsty man running to a dam and we thank God we remain grateful as a ministry I am grateful as a person that it has pleased God to make this place one of his apostolic and prophetic centers for wiping the tears of people. We make our boast in the Lord and I guarantee you that you will walk out of this place tonight with a new dimension. You are hearing the testimonies of people coming again and again. Let me tell you the truth. And I say this without exaggeration. Less than one over 20 less than one over 20 of the miracles and the testimonies that happen both in this place and through this ministry are shared right here everything you hear is less than one over 20. lives are changing per second per second so i want you tonight to not just come expecting a redument you can almost predict what is next you have to come with a heart that is hungry. Especially for those of us who have come outside. There are people standing all over. The road is filled up with people. I want you to know that God has not brought you to waste your time. There is an anointing that drew you here. It's not just a desire. No. You are, you are not idiots. It's not just a desire to come and watch. There is a compelling power. It's called anakazo. It's an ability of the spirit that draws a man from where his captivity is to where his solution is. It's an ability of the spirit. God again and again kept revealing to 
me that it still remains his desire to wipe the tears of men. Men who are willing to open up themselves and to receive. Oftentimes, people come for meetings like this and we are excited to spectate while we see God giving desperate people miracles. You must insist tonight. There is a way a man holds on to the garment of the Lord. He says, Father, I've been coming again and again over this issue. Tonight, I insist. Hallelujah. The presence of God is very unusual in this place. All through, beginning from Monday, I had been sensing, it was, it's, it's been like an incubation in my spirit, that God is going to do very definite things in the lives of people. Hallelujah. Not everybody is sick. Are you getting me? But there are people here whose situation is a matter of life and death. I was told about a family that came that they poisoned someone and most likely that person is going to die if he's not healed this night because he's already poisoned. Medically, it's over. But let's watch what God will do tonight. Let's watch if he is as weak as believers have made him look. Himarama. Imarama Imarama You are seated on the throne Imarama Imarama Yeah
Hallelujah. I'll just share with us. The Lord began with us last week. For those who were not around last week, please, please, I want you to get the teaching. I shared a very powerful mystery. I'll recap on it very quickly. And then we will pray. Hallelujah. Such an anointing in this place. Is seated on the throne. He is Yahweh. He is seated on the throne. Hallelujah. One of the greatest blessings personally upon my life, aside from my love and the revelation of the Holy Spirit to me, one of the greatest assets in my life is a comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. Please listen, pay attention. Please give me one. The mysteries of the kingdom. I told us last week that a mystery is a secret code of operation. Witchcraft works by mysteries. The kingdom works upon mysteries. Success is not a mistake. Deliverance is not a mistake. Healing is not a mistake. Favor is not a mistake. Breakthrough is not a mistake. All through from Genesis to Revelation, the Bible is full of men who dared to understand the principles of the kingdom. And on the strength of that understanding, they did exploits. And I just want to share one principle that the Lord has been putting upon my heart. Listen, God began with us last week. If you understand this singular principle that I'm teaching you, many of you, that will be your gift for the miracle service. And you can literally walk out of here and guarantee that you will be a champion. Hallelujah. I began to share with us what I call the dominion mystery of tithing. The dominion mystery of tithing. Please pay attention. The dominion mystery of tithing. That there is a relationship between a tenth portion and a man's dominion upon the surface of the earth. Many preachers have taught the controversial subject of tithing. And they have taught it only within the circumference of finances. And whilst that is true, there is more to it. There are so many of us here that are stealing from our future. And authorizing the powers of darkness to make and keep us victims. But tonight I pray that the light will shine. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis. How that when God made the garden of Eden. Watch this. The Bible says God put Adam there. And he gave him an instruction. He said. Of every tree in this garden you may freely eat. I give you access. Not ownership. I told you in the kingdom we don't own things. Those who own things are rebels in the kingdom. No man is an owner in the kingdom. Everyone only has access. We are stewards. High blood pressure is because we own things. Stroke and hypertension. When you own things, you worry about them. When you own things, you are concerned about keeping them. God never gives a man ownership. He gives every man access. The prodigal son had access, but he wanted ownership. From the day ownership started in his life, lack started. He became a victim of the very situations that he was head over until he returned back to access. And so the Bible tells us that Adam was given an instruction that in the very garden of Eden, there was a tree. Is that true? And he said of every tree you may eat, but this one is my portion. Leave it to me. The key to your dominion in this garden is not just prayer and fasting. There were no Bible studies in the garden of Eden. There were no apostles, no prophets, no miracle service. Only an instruction that obeying it will guarantee dominion. There were no churches in the garden of Eden. Only the presence of God and a heart willing to obey. 
and he says this is the tithe of the garden keep this tithe it is my designated portion for as long as you honor my instruction and keep this portion nothing will stop you from having access are you getting what i'm saying satan knew this and so when he came and beguiled eve he made them to touch of the tithe the moment man touched of the tithe that very factor that made creation respond to him was lifted and at once everything began to fight him the very leaves he was supposed to dominate now became his covering he started running and we see fear we see lies we see intimidation because of one instruction violating the designated portion are you getting what i'm saying now then the bible tells us watch this the bible tells us how that he was sent out of a land of abundance and supply and peace and prosperity and goodness out of eden to a land of struggle the earth was caused for his sake there was no longer dominion over the earth god never caused man god caused the earth and by causing the earth creation also responded to that watch this i told us last week that there is an ability of god that comes upon a man that makes everything under the sun work in his favor this is what the bible calls the blessing the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit that makes everything including problems challenges everything to work for you when that ability of the spirit is upon you no matter what happens in your life it must work for you it's a law let me tell you what it means to be cursed to be cursed does not mean that you are carrying just an evil pronouncement no a curse is an atmosphere a curse is like an anointing in a negative sense upon your life that makes creation fight you everything fights you opportunities fight you friends fight you a blessing fights you when a man who is cursed stands his atmosphere not only fights him but it fights anybody who wants to help him are you getting the point now so the idea of course is not just about what happens in covenants the earth has been authorized by a divine pronouncement to fight anyone who dishonors the designated portion listen let me tell you something this system we are working in is already cost it's a cost system there is nothing you can do about it your only key is to exempt yourself and there is a law it's an ancient mystery of exemption that exempts you from the inevitable vicissitudes of life a job cannot exempt you an educational qualification cannot exempt you nothing aside from the operation of the laws of the spirit can exempt you now the bible tells us about abraham who was an idol worshiper that came from a land called or of the chaldeans in genesis chapter 12 the bible tells us how that god told abraham come out of your kindred and your father's house to a land that i will show you he began to propose to abraham how that he would bless him and told abraham i will make you the landlord of the earth something will happen upon your life that will make the earth to become your possession and then in chapter 14 when he went to capture lot and bring him back the bible says he met a strange man called melchizedek who was a king of an ancient city of peace called salem the ancient name for jerusalem the hebrew is jerusalem an ancient city of peace a man according to hebrews with no origin no beginning no end no father no mother a man who was operating in the office of the priesthood and the bible says when abraham encountered this priest a transaction happened between two of them please follow me the bible says abraham took the tent of all and gave unto melchizedek do you believe that he took a tent of all gave unto melchizedek 
when he gave a tenth of all to Melchizedek, Melchizedek received it and did what? He activated the blessing. He said, blessed be Abraham, son of the most high, possessor of the heavens and the earth. And at once the earth started walking. Abimelech wanted to take his wife. That is a bad situation. Is that not true? But because of the blessing, Abimelech released the wife and gave him gifts. Gave him gifts. A man, one moment you want to take away his wife. Another moment you not only become his friend, you honor him with gifts. There is a mystery that governs this creation. Do you know what we call bad luck? You know what we call misfortune? Misfortune is not just an issue of witchcraft. Like ancestry. Misfortune is the resultant effect of taking from the designated portion. There is already an authorization, whether there are witches in your family or not, that every time you touch God's portion, you violate a law, the earth starts reacting to it at once. Are you getting blessed now? The destiny of Abraham was opened up on account of this portion. Jacob, who was the um, son from the lineage of Abraham. Watch this. Jacob worked for Laban. Is that not true? Laban cheated Jacob. Right? He was about to give him a daughter and he said, I will work seven years. And then he exchanged Rachel with Leah and he worked for another seven years. Then he had been with him six years. Twenty years of oppression from a man. But it still didn't matter because something was upon him. And he said, all right, this is what will happen. Take your spotted calf. I will take calves that are not spotted. The Bible tells us like begets like. And Jacob said, from the calves that are not spotted, if they give birth, we will watch. If the unspotted calf give birth to spotted children, they are my own. And the Bible says he took ordinary stick. It was not an ordinary stick, brothers and sisters. And the calves who come to mate, just looking at a stick, a white cow or a, 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 a spotless um, animal will now give birth to another animal that is spotted. It is not just creation was working for him. When, so even if you cheated him, something happened. And the cows or the animals started giving birth. And Laban said, my goodness, what is happening? Leave my presence. That is a man who has honored God with his portion. Today I want to show you a dimension of the dominion mystery of Titan. Watch this. Do you know why many people never walk in kingdom authority? Many churches are barren, producing posters. Now I'm not against that, but I'm saying every week, handbills, every week running around, scrounging for members, threatening people with causes let me tell you why because there is a law that they are violating consistently and god is no respecter of person the laws of the spirit has equal value in any territory equal value is god speaking to us tonight when moses died please look up everyone when Moses died, the Bible tells us how that he told Joshua, he said, Moses, my servant is dead. And now Joshua had a responsibility to throw down Jericho. And he was afraid because the Bible tells us that Jericho was a mighty city. Do you know the fence of Jericho? According to scripture, five chariots could stand on the fence. How will you break through that fence? That is a challenge. But he said, I will show you something. Watch this. 5 verse 1 of Joshua. Open our eyes, O oh God. And let men and women walk away from their chains forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. From their chains forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. And it came to pass, it will be a fast reading. When all the kings of the Amorites who were on the side of Jordan, westward, and all the kings of the Canaanites 
who were by the sea heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan from before the children of Israel until we were passed over that their hearts melted neither was their spirit in them anymore because of the children of Israel now watch this they were about to challenge Jericho and when the other kings heard of the mighty things that God did the kings tried to decipher what is it about Israel that makes them always win battles what is it that makes them whether you have a greater armory than them is insignificant they will throw you down there was a mystery of dominion they were working with and God was about to introduce Joshua Joshua was just a young ruler taking over from Moses and this is what he told him let's see the mystery let's take chapter 5 verse 2 5 verse 2 are you there now let's look at it it says at that time the Lord said unto Joshua do what he said make sharp knives he's about to teach him how to continue in the steps of Moses make sharp knives and circumcise again the children of Israel the second time let's continue three and Joshua made sharp knives and circumcised all the children at the heel of the foreskins and then and this is the reason why he circumcised them all the people that came out of Egypt were males even all the men of war they died in the wilderness after they came out of Egypt five now all the people that came out were circumcised but all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way when they came forth out of Egypt were not circumcised are you seeing that now all those who had been winning and making Israel make progress it was because they were circumcised but he said these guys are not circumcised and if you don't circumcise them something dangerous is about to happen to you verse 6 it says for the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness and all of that and all of that let's go to verse 7 and their children whom he raised up in their stead them Joshua circumcised for they were uncircumcised because they had not circumcised them by the way verse 8 watch this and it came to pass when they were done circumcising all the people they abode in their places watch this Joshua is afraid of conquering Jericho and the walls that are before him and God said no problem heaven wants to come into your affairs but you need to authorize them it says circumcise the people the moment the circumcision finished verse 9 let's see what happened and the Lord said to Joshua this day I have what rolled away the reproach of Egypt my goodness so all the while they were carrying the reproach because they were not circumcised he said the moment a circumcision a separation a cutting away happened he said this day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you wherefore the name of the place to this day is called Gilgal go to verse 13 let's see something mysterious that happened verse 13 everyone look up and it came to pass listen Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes immediately after circumcision he saw a strange man who came and said i'm ready to partner with you you have invited the realm of the spirit into your affair that man had been there all the while but there was no access he said you need help you can't conquer jericho by your strength the realm of the spirit wants to partner with you but the secret is the circumcision the moment it happened the bible says he lifted up his eyes and he saw a man with a sword and he went to him and said are you for us or against us next verse and he said nay but i come i'm also a warrior but i fight in the spirit the same way you guys are warriors i am also a captain i lead a battalion i help men on earth who invite us to come you are seated on the throne and he said and Joshua fell on his face and did worship and he said unto him what saith my Lord to his servant next verse watch this 
and the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua lose thy shoe from off your foot from the place you stand this holy ground and Joshua did so next verse now Jericho was straightly short watch this let me just save our time are you noticing what is happening here immediately after the circumcision he saw the captain then the captain started revealing to him the strategy this is how you will take Jericho otherwise they would have died there because physically speaking Jericho was insurmountable now watch this your tight in the spirit is similar to this spiritual circumcision your tight is an authorization for the realm of the spirit to come into your affairs and partner with you this is the reason why even human beings for men men because men are the carriers of the seed men are instructed to be circumcised why not sir? how can a man come from heaven we believe children are the heritage of the lord but you will give birth to a man and he will still go through circumcision are you getting the point now because the moment circumcision happens the realm of the spirit comes come come watch this you are on your own minding your business trying to win the war of life by yourself and God is saying you are doing this thing sensually you are doing this thing carnally you never will be able to do it it says honor me with your tithe and the moment that happens there is already a spiritual arsenal that comes to work with you and that which you have becomes supernatural not just natural not just natural it becomes supernatural the reason why there is a crowd of people inside and outside look at this right to the road right everywhere let me tell you the reason why it is not just because this is a great ministry it is because we have beckoned on the assistance of the supernatural there are some people standing outside who are even shocked that they are here when you see them you imagine there is no amount of invitation you would have given them to come but for the realm of the spirit he said i am come as a captain in other words the same way you fight there are spiritual arsenals to wait in you have been trying to fight every battle in your life just by using physical arsenals and the lord is saying the earth is fighting you when you return my designated portion you authorize the realm of the spirit to begin to help you this ministry by the grace of God we are faithful never for any reason and by any means under the sun will we touch God's portion not out of fear but out of revelation my life as a person God is my witness that I honor him and that portion that belongs to him this is why i'm dangerously protected it's not about a man no 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 dangerously protected i share with you a simple but powerful mystery when pastor jakes was sharing and he said they picked somebody from his position and makes him a deputy manager deputy manager with interviews on phone you went to school and you are intelligent is that how it is done let me tell you the blessing breaks the rules for you it breaks the rules for you yes when men say it cannot be done it breaks the rules the problem is that we are too carnal we have intellectualized life life is spiritual say it after me one more time shout it like you believe it life is spiritual all that you see is not all that there is those who are controlling this world are those who have an advantage of the spirit you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne tonight God is asking you are you ready to stop struggling in life let me tell you struggling is a cause if you ever convince yourself 
that God is the author of your struggle. I am telling you now, struggling is a cause. It's a cause from the pit of hell. You will never be able to serve God if all you are doing in your life is looking for money. Because money is not missing. You were never supposed to look for it. Hallelujah. You will never be able to serve God if you allow this mammon, the spirit that takes the heart of men away from God to begin to pursue other things. Trying to look for earthly relevance. There are people who want to build a house but they want to build it physically by putting blocks. You will die trying to build that house because there is a spiritual dimension to everything. Give us James chapter 2 verse 26. I hope we'll be able to find it. I'm reserving it for next week. By the way, next week Friday here is going to be a powerful vigil. Hallelujah. Yes. Next week is going to be a vigil. It's going to be a time of prayer and worship. We're inviting guests from all over. Now watch this. The Lord showed me this mystery and it changed my life. I shared it in Abuja. I was reserving it to start the teaching next week. But your hunger has tempted me to go to that scripture. And let's, let's touch it a bit. Paul. Watch this. Oh, sorry, James. The apostle, James was teaching on faith and works corresponding action is that true and while he was teaching on faith and works he just feared off and brought a powerful principle in an attempt to explain faith and work he comp he, he compares it with something he says for as the body without what a spirit now all of you watch this guy the only reason that I can interact with him is because there is a spirit. Is that true? If the spirit leaves this body, what happens? I will reject the body. All of you will reject the body. Are you getting me? And we will have to bury him because it is a body. Though complete, it has no spirit. Are you getting me? Now I want you, media, please keep it there. Keep it there so that we'll... I want you to remove the word us and just read just the first line to the comma are you ready one to read one more time one more time for the body without the spirit is dead it is said for the body of man for any material thing that does not have a spiritual force back in it it is dead for any material business without a spirit equivalent is dead for any church without a spirit agency backing it is like a dead body it says for a body without a spirit so the nation of israel was like a body without a spirit and he said joshua you will lose you need the spirit component and circumcision authorized the spirit when the realm of the spirit came they said let's go we can take jericho and with one shout this was what david knew that as big as goliath was he was a body without a spirit the other people were looking from the three-dimensional realm ah goliath was shouting and david looked at him he said i see a body but there is no covenant no spirit what is the force in the spirit backing you? And Goliath said, am I a dog? Even if you fight me, honor me. And David said, you are joking. You don't know who is talking. I'm not alone. I, I, you are an uncircumcised. See the word again. See the word again. You are an uncircumcised. I would have been afraid of you. I would have considered your threat if you were circumcised. Where is the ties that connects you to the realm of the spirit? And he said i'm circumcised i may be weak but there is a government that backs me when you get this key my brother you will run as if satan does not exist i promise you i promise you this you can jump around for deliverance you can hop from everywhere but the body without a spirit is dead. So 
So your boss in the office knows this. And there is a spirit that backs his chair. You just get up with your, your certificate and sit on that chair and it becomes too hot. Because all in that office is not just a chair. It's a throne. There are spirits backing it. That's why the Bible says, they that knew their God, they that have connected with a spiritual advantage, they shall be strong. Shall do exploits. Rise from the realm of being natural and tap into the supernatural realm where the realm of the spirit assists you and your life will be nothing short of a wonder. How many people, listen, I have given up on trying to do things by my strength because I know I'm wasting my time. The body. In the same way, the next time somebody stands and threatens you, that is a body without a spirit. See, no matter what talk people talk, I only consider you if you are connected spiritually. Are you getting what I'm saying? I will deal with you. The body without the spirit is dead. I will make sure you leave this job. The body without the spirit is dead. You only pay attention to a man who has risen beyond the three-dimensional realm because there is an assistance, whether demonic or whatever. Are you getting me? Circumcision is that key. There are many who continue. Ah, we have a an extent. We are going to be touching on the matters of the kingdom next week, Friday. I'll be showing you certain secrets of the kingdom that it will make you almost like a drunk man. You will get up and jump and shout. Tonight, all we are doing in this miracle service is by an ancient mystery, crying and asking heaven and say, Lord. Behold the sick people. And already in this place, there are more angels. The arsenals in the realm of the spirit are more than what you know. That's always what happens. Whenever you see me come to sit down, I smile around the stage. I would have died of hypertension if I'm responsible for your healing. But we have made arrangement already. We are covered. Oh yes, absolutely. We are covered. Heaven is jealous jealous to protect his own because God's designated portion listen when you steal your tithe you have not only destroyed your destiny you have stolen from your children every time you don't tithe just know that your firstborn is in trouble if you don't do it again you are affecting your children because he said, I will pour you a blessing you will not have room. In other words, no matter how greedy you are, your lifetime cannot exhaust it. So when you steal, you have endangered the destiny of your children. God's portion. If anyone ever told you tithing is all about money, that person lied to you or was sincerely wrong. Tithing has nothing to do with money. It's the law of open heavens. Let me surprise you. If your tithe is 10,000 and you carry 1 million and give charity foundation and you don't tithe that 10,000, you are operating under a closed heaven. Don't convince yourself that because you gave 1 million, the heavens is open. It is called due process. I'll teach you next week. There is a protocol to spiritual things. Are you getting my point? Tithing is what opens your heavens. And then anything you do under that open heavens will prosper. If you like, carry one billion. Give charity organization. Give for the building of church. If you are not a tighter, I guarantee you, the Bible says your heaven shall be brass and your earth iron. All of them are conductors of heat. Get set for heat in your life. When the heaven is open, if, not, if for nothing we know there is ventilation, fresh air, the wind comes. But when your heaven is brass and your earth is iron. Many of us here, no matter what prayer happens in this, that's why we took the communion. The devourer is authorized to destroy anyone who is not spiritually circumcised. The devourer 
is not a demon the devourer is a principality even jesus christ acknowledged them that's why he said he is the head of principalities it destroys men's lives on legal basis this earth is too wicked for you to allow chance no i pray for people all the time people with cancers hiv tuberculosis communicable diseases imagine if i refuse to be faithful i would die like a chicken because most times i lay hands on people and there are medical doctors here they know that some of these things are physically not healthy but i'm circumcised my goodness you invoke my name in a shrine both the invoker the invokee and the ordinance it they will burn to ashes ashes no matter how mad a man is he doesn't enter fire by mistake he can cross the road and you say he's a madman but when he sees fire he fears off when heaven backs you let me tell you your life becomes a wonder even to you this ministry is a wonder to everyone not just because we are so smart we are just stupid enough to involve the realm of the spirit because by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne oh sing oh fountains of the deep cry out kadosh you are mighty on your throne You are mighty on your throne. 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 You are mighty in this place. 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 You are mighty in my life. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray just two prayer points and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. Shaba bakata la baba. Ay 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 ay. They that are with us are greater, greater, greater. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Prayer point number one. Oh God, by the blood I cry for mercy. Where I have allowed the devourer, I have stolen from my tithe your designated portion. I've allowed the devil deceive me that the tithe is a gimmick by preachers. Now I realize and I ask for your mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Lift your voice. Your tithe is your spiritual circumcision. Pato, 
assurance and I pledge the name of the Lord upon this if you take what I've shared tonight for many of you this is your secret is your password to a mysterious level of lifting a level of lifting that will surprise you as much as surprise those who are your spectators God's portion the time his designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the Lord is going to do I want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen I want you to confront the gates of your destiny and I want you to pray and say you must open up this night lift your voice cry is the seventh month the gates of my destiny must open up by the power of the Holy Ghost 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 You must open up Some just in chariots Some in horses But we trust in the name of our God just add one more prayer because I see the angels of the Lord already moving let me just add one more prayer listen I want you to pray 
pray. Listen. There are giants on every mountain. Every one of us is holding a prayer request because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go. But tonight, I want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say, I must go tonight. Lift your voice. Inside and outside. Cry. I must walk away. That carrying out disease must die today. That cancer must die today. That HIV must go today. That barrenness must go today. That stagnation must go today. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, please, can I have that family if they are here? The family that came with the poison person. Are they here? Please, let's save time. If they are here, just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly. There's a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While that is happening, I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request. If you are here to write, least one minute so that when we begin to flow we just move and we don't stop so you have one minute while you are praying in tongues just write your prayer request very quickly so that when it's time to pass it you just pass it very fast make sure you don't keep silent Write the issues that have threatened you and watch the God of heaven turn them into testimonies. What can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. So tell me, what can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without
a reign of deliverances a reign of impartations a reign of breakthroughs we forcefully advance tonight we compel gates to be open we compel doors to be open we compel every handwriting of darkness to give way in this place tonight and we declare that this atmosphere is completely under the influence of the holy spirit and that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the spirit lord that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of god hallelujah hallelujah now i'm going to begin to minister to us and while i prayed for this in the course of the week again and again i kept seeing please pay attention can i have strings strings strings, strings? hallelujah i kept seeing again and again spirits watch this spirits leeching onto people this is what i kept seeing like a man sitting on a man's shoulder i saw this over many people and i said lord what is the meaning of this and the lord began to re to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families and the lord said when i come up he said the first thing i should do is dislodge those powers dislodge those powers i saw them like a man like a child will sit down on the shoulder of another bringing a resistance to your destiny and i'm about to pray for you right now there are so many people under the sound of my voice so many people under the sound of my voice they must go heaven is here to assist us lift your hands everyone inside and outside there will be such mighty deliverances outside by the anointing of the Holy Ghost hallelujah I even see someone I'm um, uh, suffering from severe migraine but then that migraine you think is just sickness we are about to make a shout brothers and sisters this shout is like the sling of david it looks ordinary but there is a circumcision upon it it's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm it's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men it's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic it's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now there will be mighty deliverances mighty deliverances hallelujah i'm going to pray for us and then at the count of three we're going to shout that name jesus my goodness i sense the anointing of the spirit heavy the power of god will fall upon many of you in a mighty way and you will see this spirit some of you are already feeling uncomfortable it's the power of god especially many outside there will be mighty deliverances lift your hands now thank you jesus father in the name of your son i pray right now and i sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost that the fire of the spirit oh restrain not your hand oh mighty one we pray that you arise as a man of war there are destinies at the mercy of your touch i pray that by this shout oh god there be a visitation that by this shout oh god everyone here under any spirit help them please help them bring them out everyone here under any influence as we shout let fire catch them and visit their foundations and i command every power that at this shout you will let god's people go inside and outside one two three shout that name i command witchcraft powers of darkness right now right now in the name of jesus inside and outside inside and outside
outside. Inside and outside. The fire of God is falling on people. Falling on people. I cause witchcraft. I cause witchcraft. I cause witchcraft. I cause witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Malatata. I'm seeing altars on fire. That's what I see in the spirit. Please bring them out. Altars on fire. One more time, we're going to shout. Physically, many of you will feel the fire. Physically, physically. Right now, in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus! Oh, yes. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. Of the Holy Ghost. Mighty deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. You must let them go. You must let them go. Right now. By fire. E para todo todo requetes cata la cata e Hallelujah Lift your hands There are people here as I begin to speak the Holy Ghost will locate them I'm seeing ladies ladies a man comes to you in the night and sleeps with you right now by fire oh god locates them right now right now right now i cost that spirit i cost that spirit ladies ladies a miracle is happening to sister i cost those spirits i cost those spirits I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside. Right now as I speak, the power of God comes upon that person. Right now, wherever that person is, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, the power of God comes upon that person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. This is what the Lord is telling me. As we begin to pray, miracles will start happening. Lift your voice and break every chain holding you down. Go ahead. This is what God is telling me. Your hands, I hear my spirit families 
families God is stepping into families there are altars there are altars over families that are about to be broken as you are standing right now God is going to be visiting your family at that shout again inside and outside make sure you are participating inside and outside we are going to shout that name as you shout the name of Jesus families I see altars on fire are you ready now father any family under the yoke of bondage as they shout this name let there be a visitation one two three Jesus families be free now be free now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice. And ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm hearing marital spells. Marital spells. Please lift your hands. Listen. Hear me. Something mighty is about to happen here. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people who there are spells tying down their marriages whether single or married right now lift your hands as I begin to speak the wind I see like a wind a whirlwind moving across this auditorium oh. it will catch up with some people right now where are they oh God visit them right now in the name of Jesus one more time we will shout that name wherever they are one, two, three Jesus spells spells be broken be broken be broken be broken be broken marital spells outside outside be broken be broken I'm hearing a name Dorcas. Dorcas, a miracle is coming. Dorcas, an altar is on fire. And I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle. Dorcas. Dorcas. Come and stand here. Hallelujah. Who is Israel? I'm hearing a name Israel. 
Israel, the Lord is ministering to me. Tonight, he must let you go. Let you go. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is showing me a woman. You are here. You had a miscarriage. There is a woman here who had a miscarriage. It's like you had a child and you lost the baby. And the Lord is telling me, please help them, those under the anointing, so that we don't, this place is not rowdy. Listen, let me tell you something. The anointing of the spirit does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. The anointing does not make the difference. Without the anointing, we are just making noise here. But by the anointing, and I'm telling you this, no matter where you are, whether you are inside here or outside or right at the back, I want you to connect because God is visiting you. And every one of you must have a touch. Dorcas, where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not based in Zaria, sir. No, I'm not saying, She's where is she? Mina, Niger State. She's in Mina. Yes, we have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands. Father, change the story of this lady by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I hold your hands, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord set you free. Madam, look at me. Where is your husband? At home. Huh? He's at home. Why didn't he come with you? Because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting. Amen. But I'm going to pray for you. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because this is delay. Yes. I'm seeing delay in your yes, family. Sir. Serious yes, delay. Yes, it's even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband. Yes, sir. I'm seeing two of you arguing. Yes, sir. But the Lord is saying he is bringing rest to your yes, family. Sir. This Amen, sir. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, let there be rest. Rest for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are doctors. Where is your mother, my dear? You. She stays in Kaduna. Why? The same way you are crying is how I'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is saying, Why wouldn't she cry when the load is too much on her? Look at me. Like we shared, tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And even you yourself otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship but hold my hands in the name of jesus lord bring rest to this lady bring rest to her in the name of jesus christ Can, where is the woman that had a miscarriage there is a woman that had a miscarriage and the lord is asking me to minister to her we may not be able to minister to everybody but there is there is someone please make sure you don't sit back the lord is ministering to me about that person so that we'll just we'll just pray for her. Dogara, Dogara. I'm hearing a name, Dogara. Dogara. Who is Dogara? You. Your name is Dogara. Yes, sir. Where's your dad? He's at home. In Kaduna. He's, he's at home. In Kaduna. We have to pray for him. What I'm seeing will never, if they are permitting anything, please and please, maybe carry them out. Of We're about to pray, please, don't worry. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now over and I cause that spirit that wants to bring accident. In the name of Jesus, it will not come to pass. We cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Madam, I want to pray for you. The way I'm holding your hands, that's the way the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life and he's bringing joy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back? Now come, there's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. It's happening again. Yes. We have to cancel it. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. It's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage yes, sir. because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying, and saying, Pray for me. Okay, 
Do you understand? Yes. It takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. He will give birth to a baby boy. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand and pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? We have to pray because I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You're all Israel, and I'll pray with you. Come. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman, but in the realm of the spirit, all I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just what I mean. I curse that spirit. You must release her right now. In the name that is above all names. There is no hiding place. The light of God is against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is no hiding place for you by the blood of Jesus Christ. You must release this woman. It's a spirit of death. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, may they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your baby's name. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is liberty for this boy. There is liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. There is liberty. Hallelujah. Now all those who were brought out here under the anointing I want, to, I want to speak to them now don't worry everyone out here I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you you know my voice I represent the most high at the count of three leave them and go right now one two go 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 out of them out out of them now out now never to return at your Lord live your life live your destiny Restoration of virtue, of grace. I cost that spirit from its foundation. I cost it from the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. All those who are trusting God for jobs, lift your hands. I see a strange anointing in this place. Don't withhold your hand. Don't withhold your hand. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Sister, you looking at me. Rejoice. I see an appointment letter given to you. You. This lady looking at me. You. Come. I'm talking to her. You are turning back. You. Come, 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 come. I see an appointment letter given to you. There will be mighty miracles of jobs. Hallelujah, come. This is the person I'm talking about. Because I was praying and before I would even start, I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter. Right? You believe me? You believe me? You will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. The Lord says I should tell you he's rolling away your reproach, madam. 
the reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season that's what the lord is saying i should tell you the reproach of many years is being rolled away i'm seeing like a baller that's what i'm seeing a trash place where they pour dirt and i'm seeing a new seed shooting out and that's what is that's that's like a type of your destiny and the lord is saying i should tell you he's rolling away the reproach from your life in the name of jesus lift your hands and let's release miracle job if you don't believe in it put down your hand command you by the blood of Jesus you foul spirit you have oppressed this body in the name of Jesus I break your covenant I break your ordinance there is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady it's not just her can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady I curse you now I curse you I curse you by the God of heaven and I curse you by my office in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that power. Let her go now. Right now. Release her destiny. Release her family now. By the blood of the eternal covenant. She's free. Go. Release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. Listen, listen. People of God, don't think we are playing games here. I know you may see some of the things happening. These are the powers that have tied down men's life. It's not solved by counseling. You are just moving in the physical, yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound. We are not embarrassed. We are never embarrassed to set people free. Because that's what Jesus said. There's got to be a way of setting people free. Hallelujah. Father, jobs now. In the name that is above all names. I want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life. Lord, I declare. Everyone called jobless here. By the favor of God, I terminate joblessness right now. By the favor of God, I terminate joblessness right now. Anyone who has applied for any job, I compel them to call you. I compel them to call your loved ones. I compel them to favor you. here called Agnes Agnes I'm hearing a name Agnes the Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes we we'll begin to pray for the sick shortly Agnes I'm hearing the name Agnes God is ministering to me he wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes do we have anyone there Agnes Your name is Agnes. Your name too. The family member. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. We'll begin to pray for the sick after this. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring breakthrough for this family. You showed me that you're visiting this family. Go ahead and confirm your word with signs following. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing a very serious situation here. There's someone here with a swollen leg. I don't know who that person is. Your leg, mysteriously, paining you and it looks it's, it's like swollen. This is what I see in the vision that the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Your leg is swollen.
Where is it? Which of the legs? Look what? Look, if if the devil, you remember I told you this a body without the spirit. Look what is happening to this girl. And then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife. Are you seeing that? Is is if it can look at one, two, three, four, five people holding one person. Imagine what it will do to someone's destiny. I say this without a sense of cynicism. Many of the people that God is setting free attend churches every week. Look, we need to restore the power of God in our churches and stop playing games with God. Because God's idea is not just for one platform. Hallelujah. Swollen legs. No, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't have to. Madam, I see you too. Your legs. For how long? What's the situation with her? Is her leg swollen? Okay, hold on. She can't walk. Baby, how are you? Hallelujah. Please help us with the mic. Who brought her? Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay. What's your name? Annie. Annie? Your name is Anne. Agnes. Alice. Your name is Alice. You can't walk. You can walk, but your leg is bent. Oh my goodness, look at such an innocent lady. Lord, have mercy on this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick and we let them come out. I'm just going to speak to special cases. Leg, your leg. All of you, who had a dream? In a dream, it's like something was shot. It's like, I don't know if it was an arrow. I'm seeing something that looks like a dream. And something was shot on your legs. If the person is not here, I'm seeing someone who had that dream. It's like, I don't know if it was like a gun or something. Or, an, uh, or a, 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 a sharp object. I know that it was, it's like it was shot to your leg. Something beat me when I was sleeping. I just broke up and Lord was coming out of my legs. I'll pray for you, but this one I'm seeing, I just want to flow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like, it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the Spirit. In my dream. You were shot? Fired at you? Yes. And what happened to you? I only, I prayed when I woke up. You in prayed when you woke up? From the, dream. the Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once. But truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God. And God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I curse it. Jesus thing. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is swollen. Your leg? Yes. What happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining in me. It's a, for me to stand or to walk. Almost two years. It's broken. For almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? I, I can't stand. Like some people are standing now. For me to stand still. You can't problem. stand straight. It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another? Or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's, it's you catch believe? Food food. As I'm standing now, it's catch huh? food food. Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. It, according to my dad, it entered his thigh and came and out came out. the other This side. is the person I'm talking about. Yes, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his side up to his present. This guy Where is, is he? Here. Is he here? He's in Lagos, sir. He's in Lagos. Yes, sir. You believe God will touch him? Yes, sir. When I pray for you, call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for. Yes, huh? sir. Yes, because sir. this is witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Benway State. What's your name? My name is Kate. Kate. Yes, sir. From Benway State. Hold yes, my hands. Father, visit this family. You have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I curse this witchcraft. 
Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I do. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? I have nail pains. Since I, yeah, since I feel sick, they used to swell up. Since, so I, you, since I was sick for six months, they used to swell up. But now, I can't walk. I can walk and be hearing sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay, how about you? My leg is swollen for five years. Five years? I cannot stand for Where is, which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand? I can't stand for long. For a long time. Mama, how about you? Two, two months. Yes. What's happening? I have arthritis. You have arthritis. Yes. Who else? Who again? Leg problem. Leg problem. All of you, I'm going to pray for you too. Your legs yes. swollen. Oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Sister, five years your leg has been swollen. Permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong. Because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent, um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is like, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command freedom, freedom for your legs. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft. Mama, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you right now. Every wicked spirit leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on your chest. The Lord is bringing you deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. This is witchcraft for five years. I'm seeing a spirit. Go! Go! In the name of Jesus. You can't remain in her. The swollen leg, I command the swelling to go down in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Mama, I pray for your leg. In Jesus' name. I pray for your leg. That's where the pain is. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. And tell me if there's any improvement. How many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed? Specifically in the area of healing. Let me just see your hands. Inside and outside, can you just wave it to the Lord? How many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. And it will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Look how many people are trusting God for healings and miracles. 
I sincerely pray with all my heart that every church and every assembly of God will permit the power of God to operate in their place. It is not a thing of pride to have so many, look at, literally, maybe hundreds of people right outside. There is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people. It's not God's idea to have one superstar. It's just that many people, especially men of God, are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities. We are going to do this very, very fast. All of you who are sitting, make sure you are connected and um, you are participating. While we are ministering to the sick, I want you to pass your prayer request. Ushers, you can walk around. Please make sure all those outside, even those on the roadside, make sure that we receive their prayer request because I'll be laying hands on it immediately afterwards. Myself and Pastor Jax will be ministering to you whatever your challenge is i want you to believe god while you're standing lift your voice and begin to say lord i will not return back with this sickness in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus thank you jesus father i stretch my hands over your people let your healing power deliver the lord is healing someone on pile I'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. You may be in the healing line, but the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Please make your way. Make your way. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. There is a corporate anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Please, as soon as we lay hands on you, just go this way very quickly. There are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up. And there are still other things we need to do. Praise God. what is wrong with you just a laying on of hands the anointing of the spirit is like a drug the moment it enters your body it begins to work and it brings you healing you will notice that some people are standing for healing but as soon as hands are laid on them devils are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities
how long? No, no, no. What's wrong? For how long? You were born like that. Just like that. Let's pray and watch what God will do. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Can we hear it? Father, if never you could not walk by your own, you will fall. Are your legs strong enough? Lord Jesus, is this not why you died? Did he not help you? He came here believing you. You have made this place a place of healing and miracles. Look at the condition of this brother. The legs. Look at me. Leave him. Remove your hand from him. Look at me. Have you tried walking before? Huh? Lift your leg. Try lift it. Lift it. Lift the other one. Lift it. Lift it. You are mighty. Look at me. Just stand behind him so in case he wants to fall, you hold him. Look at me. See, just look at me, not your legs. Look at me. Come. 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 Just come. Don't think of how it will happen. Come. 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 Come on, you celebrate are mighty Jesus. On your throne. Completely the legs are open. Jesus, Jesus. If you are yet to pass yours, please just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, Jesus. My heart will sing. Yeah. No other name. No other name. Jesus, 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 my heart will sing, my heart will sing, no other name, no other name, Jesus, 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 Jes
Lord, let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations into testimonies. Lord, we agree, we agree, we agree in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations to testimonies. Stretch your hands and keep receiving. I receive by faith. Come on, pray. All kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of miracles. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened, be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it be turned. Lord, where people said, there's no way, my Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord, prayer points that have been pending for many years. We ask that, God, doors be open, Lord. Let miracles, Lord, flow into this house in the name of Jesus. Testimonies we are bound in great ways, Lord. Unprecedented miracles. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We ask for healings. We ask that, Lord, people that are insane, you cause them to be sane in the name of Jesus. We pray for contract that long delayed. Lord, we pray that, Lord, will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus. And we pray for a shield of protection over your saints, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit. Let the fire of God call, come on cold altars in the name of Jesus. Let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory for the great and mighty things you will do amongst us, Lord. We give you praise, blessed Father, for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony, I'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. 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 For many of you, it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's by the anointing. It's not by English. Burdens are destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. This last segment you've heard me say it again this is the most powerful and most impactful segment if you're not a man of the spirit you may not understand what i'm saying please help them this is the most powerful of this segment right now before we go into this where i begin to prophesy there are two dimensions to prophecy there is the revelatory dimension of prophecy that dimension of prophecy gives you direction but the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension. That's when things that are not become by the power of the spoken word. Never joke with the power of prophecy. That's the power that created the heavens and the earth. 
he said I prophesied as I was commanded before we do that very quickly everyone inside and outside there are people here tonight who are saying man of God I want to commit my life to the Lord I've seen the miracles I've seen the signs and wonders but my way is not right with the Lord you know that right now as you're standing here if the trumpet sounds you're not making heaven you know it right now having a Christian name is not the same as having a relationship with Jesus there are some you've given your heart to the Lord at one time please help those under the anointing I tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now I sense a heavy anointing on me already that's why I'm doing this very quickly now if you are here please don't delay us you are saying I want to return home for whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of God and you are saying Lord I have heard your word and I'm not ashamed to make Jesus my Lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now I'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you Tori. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep coming, God bless you. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won the victory. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won. Keep coming, keep coming. Please hurry up and catch up with us. So, so deep with you. So, deep with you. We give you the praise. Sasa give you joy. One more time. Sasa give you joy. Don't sit back there when you hear the voice of the Lord. Sasa give you joy. I appreciate every one of you for coming out this is the way to the cross listen no matter what you achieve in life if your eternal destiny is not secured it says this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life but he said this life is in his son until you have the son you do not have that life lift your right hand forget about who is looking at you and in the name of Jesus I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart you are not reciting a poem it's not a special number this is a decision there's one of you here you smoke all these kinds of things it go and the rest huh? but as you pray this prayer the power is broken over your life say after me as loud as you can from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i love you with all my heart and with everything within me this night i make jesus lord of my life i repent of my sins i declare that eternal life comes into my spirit I am born again I'm a child of God from today the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over me my past is gone and it's over forever I am a new creation in Christ in the name of Jesus the power of sin is broken over my life in the name of Jesus I receive of your life 
in jesus name i pray now i stretch my hands over you and i declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of jesus i declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life i release you from it right now every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of jesus it is wiped away i set you free i break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah i want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you catch up with us in this prophetic session i want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentlemen now everybody rise please i want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the bible says revive thy work in the midst of the years hallelujah there is a mystery with the seventh month is the time where god perfects all things as i prophesy to you please i want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen hallelujah listen listen don't, don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time i know you're trying as ushers just stand around satan does not have authority i want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken but satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh so he begins to act around your mind to distract you when you ignore satan is one way of conquering him it does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense are you getting my point so this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama praise the lord lift your hands i prophesied as i was commanded you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne father in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits send to minister today that be the heirs of salvation I pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of Jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I prophesy to you that Red Sea you are standing before by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this second half of the year. An anointing comes upon you and I prophesy cross every Red Sea. Cross every Red Sea cross every red sea in the name of jesus christ i pray for every student here oh for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding i'm praying for you some of you listen as i pray now some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head is an impartation of knowledge right now oh god i release an anointing to change the story of students at the count of three let it fall right now one two three take it take it take it take it now 
Take it now. That anointing. Receive it for exploits. Shaka ta ta ta. Inside and outside. Take it for exploits. 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 Hallelujah. Everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy I command stagnation to end now 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 my goodness something is happening to your destiny every night season in your life every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day i speak to you right now your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally hallelujah there is something called favor i don't know if you know it but there is something called favor when the favor of god is upon a man your looks your background your qualifications no longer matter let an anointing of favor right now i see at least 100 people 100 people like fire hundred people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor 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 Favor, parekete, embratata, lakata. I prophesy by an apostolic anointing. Favor, favor, favor. Everyone holding anything that should be given to you for the next level i don't care where they are but i sound an alarm in the spirit that in this month we're entering called august may that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level receive the keys of the next level the mysteries of the next level every spiritual blindness shababa things happen around you you cannot see Lord of spiritual vision I pray right now many of you will see like flashes of light as I'm praying right now you will see literally like flashes of light your eyes are opening right now right now right now right now right now by the power of the Holy Ghost blindness spiritual blindness spiritual blindness be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Hallelujah. There are many of us here. Dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction. But for many of us, our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there. The Bible says they will dream dreams. It says they will see visions. Shakataba. Lift your hands. 
there will be an, a restoration anointing right now i just want you to shout i receive listen many things will happen to you many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions where god will start showing you the blueprint for the next level right now in the name of jesus at the count of three as you shout i receive let there be an impartation upon your dream life upon spiritual visions one two three now you receive it receive it restoration of fire fire dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams hallelujah it says what do you have in your house and she said nothing except a jar of oil i want to prophesy upon your gift it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed there are many of you the gift you have can bring bread to your table but nobody is seeing it it's one thing to be gifted it's one thing to be skilled but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed thou anointed my head with oil and it makes my cup to overflow i prophesy to you whatever has covered your gift whatever has made your gift barren right now in the name of jesus i anoint your gift now i anoint your skill now i anoint your gift now creativity creativity i release it i release that anointing creativity skill expertise competence proficiency in the name of jesus christ listen anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's god's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light i pray for you whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of jesus i command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you. Hallelujah. Everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year, you have tried by your strength. I'm releasing grace upon your life right now. Go back to that same thing and watch how God will bless you through it. I pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ every business here is time to shine come on every business here I strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine Lift your hands. One last prayer. Listen. I want to activate the gift of the Spirit. Without the gift of the Spirit upon your life, your life will be barren and unfruitful. It says, For I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the Lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as I speak father I come under this apostolic anointing right now across the length and breadth 
in this auditorium and outside at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gifts one two three take it take it gift of healing word of knowledge gift of prophecy 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 I activate the prophetic I open your eyes spiritual gifts endowments of the spirit I declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of Jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow I prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring it to your life hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise father we give you all the praise I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls i mean connections mysterious happenings i'm seeing an angel walking across this road the lady is wearing something like pink pink something like pink Something like pink. Something like pink. That's the lady. Bring her. Mata tabala kambra da la kato salada. She will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the agency of the Spirit. Let her go now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Foul devil of darkness. Go. I see you in the realm of the spirit. Go now. Bring them out. Lift your hands everyone. There are many people under the oppression of darkness. The moment I shout the name Jesus. I tell you to be like a tornado. The power of God will hit you where you are. No devil. I bind every devil from the realm of the spirit. I hold captive every foul devil. Tonight, you will let God's people go. Now lift your hands, everyone. At the count of three, shout Jesus. And the power of God will fall. One, two, three. Every devil, bring them out. The power of God is touching you. Every demon oppressing anyone outside the power of God is falling outside falling outside I rebuke evil spirits in this row in this row the power of God is falling mightily come out of God's people I expose the works of darkness Every demon in hell, outside, outside, the power of God 
of you outside hallelujah lift your hands every act of witchcraft and divination many of you will be surprised what will happen in this place now because I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus I command by the power of the Holy Spirit the wicked spirits of darkness that torment families and individuals and destinies you will be exposed now by the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire is falling right now the fire is falling right now across the congregation let the fire expose the works of darkness let the fire everyone under any influence the fire exposes darkness the fire these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever hallelujah come out of her now out of her in the name of Jesus come out of her foul devil of darkness go go I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit out of her right now come out of her you're a wicked spirit of darkness out I'm seeing a snake this is what I'm seeing come out right now come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ go this lady has been oppressed and her entire family come out right now in the name of Jesus you must go the light shines upon you go go now You have oppressed this girl for long now in the name of Jesus come out of her come out right now out of her come out of her right now out in the name of Jesus look at me turn and look at me come out of her now come out of her out in the name of Jesus Christ you are a wicked spirit of darkness Go, go. You will go in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a snake lying down here. I'm not even seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this girl go right now. Come out of her. Now. Out of her. Now, devil of darkness. Lift your hands. God is going to visit families. Hear me. Please hear me. And some of you will represent your families. Are you hearing me right now? The devil is a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? The devil is a liar tonight. The power of God will come upon families. Families. Right now whoever goes under the anointing you're not representing yourself but your family there are things that need to be settled at the count of three all over this building families be rescued one two three bring them out Every family, every family, every enchantment, every divination.
nation against any family be delivered in the name of Jesus. Kata tabalala, bata barata, karatosa, rabariata, beketori seke, mabrika to, ereka likaba, rabariata, rekoto seke tekete, bekeposhia, by the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Apatakata, leka praskata raka, raka ta prakata ba, aprosko so so prekete. It shall come to pass. The burden shall be taken from thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed. Go to reke, reko to so seketia. The power of God is still falling on families. I tell you, there are families being set free. This is what is responsible for the predicaments of many families. Tonight, there's no escape. The light and fiery presence. Mata Kabaya. Those of you outside, lift your hands. All of you outside, lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, like a mighty rushing wind, let the power of God move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Families be delivered. Families be set free. Move outside. Kata ta 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 Rakata baba. Raposoto. Regeteke. Raposkose. Regoske niata. Mabata porokote. Raeke regeto. Raposke brondo. Kapriata kata shekete. Outside. The fire of God is falling. Son of man, can these bones live again? Son of man, can these families be revived again? Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in from outside. There are many of them from outside coming under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Bring this lady. You leave our family right now. You are a demon of darkness. Come out right now. Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. right now you're a foul devil of darkness out out right now out right now come out come out foul devil of darkness I've seen you I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Come out now. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You are a demon of darkness. This is what is responsible for delay. Marriage, no marriage, no this and that. This is not the issue of man of God, pray for me. This is the issue of dethroning principalities over families. Come out. Listen, let me explain something to you. Listen, I've said it time and time again. You can be born again. Your salvation does not affect your family. It's a personal thing. Are you listening to me? These people in front are born again. They are tongue talking. 
They are not witches. This is the nonsense people carry around. This is about territorial salvation. These are the spirits responsible, listen, for delay. Delay in different things. Marriages. There's a lady at the back, this row. The power of God is coming upon you right now. Fire upon her in the name of Jesus. Look up, please. Look up. Satan is very stubborn. He's not just going to pack his load and go. When there are people who are servicing altars and covenants every year. Some of you, you're, you are born again. Bring the lady. Bring this lady. This is delay I'm seeing. Look at. This is delay. All kinds of delay in your whole family. Incisions were made in this lady's body. Have you not wondered, look up, there are certain issues that you go through in your life. You pray about it, you fast about it, the more you pray, the more you fast, nothing is changing. Why is it so? Hold on, hold on, no, let that lady not go. Look at my eyes. Please dress her, let's have a lady wrap something around her. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Try your best. Look at my eyes. Go. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. See. Listen. The Bible does not teach us to sit down talking about demons all day and all of that. But let me tell you something. If we don't deal with the things that are putting themselves as strongholds in your life and in your family, you will be surprised that you can be born again and feel the Holy Ghost. See. We like telling ourselves lies in church. Me, I don't have time for that nonsense. Are you listening to me? Everybody just wears suits. And then we just, and the devil is oppressing people. Who is Zainab? Zainab. Zainab. Please, let's save time. Zainab. You are Zainab. Look at me. The Lord is bringing deliverance to Zainab's family. of her right now and her family out in the name of jesus you will see a nice pretty lady like this then eventually things will not move on in her life bring this lady look at my eyes look at my eyes i'm speaking to the spirit not the person don't worry the spirit is hearing look at my eyes Your reign in this family is over. It's time for you to go now. Now, go. Just let her be. Come. Lift this lady for me. Sweetheart. Your family needs a lot of ah, what is this one that I'm seeing? You have an elder sister. Where is she? Is she married? Eh? She lost the guy. It's not that she lost the guy. Because I'm seeing anyone that wants to ask you people out keeps dying. This is what I'm seeing. Look at me. Look at me, sister. What happened to the guy? 
He was shot. He was shot. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So now you see this lady and you are happy. Satan, come out now. Come out, you wicked spirit. Out now. Now. Come out. Let our entire family go. The problem is when you want to deliver a family that is not ready to give up things that are evil, it takes the mercy of God. This is the situation we have here. Now I see you. You will leave this family. Go! I'm seeing a man that is as tall as 20 feet. Go! Now! Ranta Prosco Zete Balakatia. Victory, Victoria, victory, victory. Is it victory or Victoria now? What's the name? Victoria, come. Look at me. The Lord brings salvation to your family tonight. You believe that? your hands on your stomach look at me look at me shout jesus as loud as you can all right are you ready one to go jesus. you're free in the name of jesus i want to pray listen I want to pray for those with heart conditions. Any kind of heart condition whatsoever. Lift your hands. Hole in the heart. Abnormal heart, heart condition. These two ladies come. Come. Tonight is your night. You and you. The lady lifting her hands and the lady close to her. Are you friends? God is visiting two of you. Come and stand here. Sister. It's the presence of God. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Two of you need deliverance before impartation. Out of our family right now. Ah uh ah. -uh. Hey, bring this lady. Look at look at this. A lady suddenly comes by herself, and now she cannot look at me again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let her go. Let her go right now. Come out of her. Come out right now. I've seen you in the spirit. You are going. On your mark, get set, go. Go, go. Heart, heart, heart conditions. Where are they? Please come out quickly. Heart. Just dress these ones aside. Every one of you will be visited mightily by God tonight. Heart, please come out quickly. Hold on. There's, the Lord is showing me someone. You have like 
epileptic seizures who is that person you can fall down and convulse who is the person it started when you were young who is that person let me see your hands quickly I need to pray for that person epileptic seizures because this is very demonic epileptic seizures look at me how many of you believe you will be healed what's wrong with you yes heart problem come there is one of you you had a dream it was after that dream you started having this heart thing who is that you had a dream come Speak for God to set you free what's the problem give him what's the problem there is a day that I was sleeping in the dream. I saw somebody, the person don't shout, hey, then I not shout and I wait. Since then, my heart, it seems, it seems to me that the heart wants to, I use all that, I want to give up anytime. This is not heart problem, my brother. This is the spirit of death. Are you listening to me? This one is not heart. You think it's heart problem? Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. of him now in the name of Jesus be healed now in the name of Jesus I'm going to pray for you quickly as I pray for you just receive go back check yourself in the name of Jesus Out of her, come out. You're wicked. Come out, out of her right now. Come out now, wicked devil. Aha! I've seen you. Come out, out of her right now. This one is not hard problem. leave her come out out of her right now out come out of her in the name of Jesus Those of you who brought sick people, please, we'll, we'll start ministering shortly. But I want to pray for people who, please stand up everybody, stand up, stand up. Hallelujah. The Lord is specifically asking me to pray. I'm going to pray. You won't come out. God will bring you out by himself. Um, the Lord is showing me people who are oppressed in your sleep in your sleep you are sleeping in the night the severe oppression of the devil whether a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and all those kinds of demonic things 
the Lord is going to set you free from it. Lift your hands, everyone. It should go. Lift your hands. Father, even as you have revealed this to me in the name of Jesus, please keep the hands as high as you can outside too. The gates of evil over lives and over destinies oppression and manif manipulations of darkness even in dreams my God right now let the power of the Holy Spirit sweep across this congregation and bring deliverance to those many people in the name of Jesus now lift your hands Kato Shatabalakata. Now, 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 Kato Shatayata, Rakata Reza, Bavere Ketekosu, Baratos Kotia. I give a word of command in the realm of the spirit. That oppression goes. Go, 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 go. Bring them out. Oppression from your dreams. Molestation in your dreams. Rekete bosoto balaka. Lord, this one's in front. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be set free right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I bring you freedom. An end comes to this devilish oppression. You will go. You will go. Go. Go in the name of Jesus. You will go by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will go. I'm seeing this lady being oppressed. A man is... Go! Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her. She's free. Leave her. Be gone forever. Come out right now. Out. Come out of her right now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You are going in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You're a wicked spirit. Look at this. This is somebody that came happily and nicely. You see the things we are talking about. The Lord Jesus is against you. Fire upon you right now. Come out of her. Come out in the name. Look at her assuming the character of a man. This is a lady. This is a lady. Out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where's the other lady that came? Now, be gone. Leave her. Leave her. She's free. are sick you are sick in your body whatever it is 
you are sick in your body it's time for us to minister to you and we are going to be prophesying and opening doors of restoration in families are you following me now so as the worship team ministers Mosati will play the saxophone as the worship team ministers no 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 hold on she's not done sister look at me come out of her right now hallelujah so if you brought a sick person now is the time to bring them to the front very quickly very quickly while the worship team gives us a song wherever you are know that the power of god is there those outside make sure you are full of expectation quickly quickly let's have the sick people please ushers direct them quickly quickly please You are sick in your body. You came with a sick person. Especially those coming from outside Zaria. Come and line up quickly. Pastor Jakes, shop stand. Quickly, quickly, please come and line up. Ushers, help me arrange them. Arrange them in line, please. Some of you are outside, rolling here, it's time for your healing. Hallelujah. Edge me. Now we're going to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. As we begin to minister to you, in the power of the Holy Spirit. For some of you, it's demons that will need to go. Whatever the sickness is, just know it's going to go right now. Those of you who are standing, you can connect for your loved ones. Don't be distracted, please. Oftentimes, at moments like this, the devil will start distracting people. Now is the time to be sensitive. You can be where you are, and the Holy Ghost can be doing his thing with you. Hallelujah. As hands come upon you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sister, look at me. Just look at me. Salvation comes to you. We're going to begin to pray and minister to you. As hands are laid, worship him, help us. Hallelujah. As hands are laid upon you, expect a miracle. Whatever it is, barrenness, delay, sickness, what if it has a name, it has a need tonight. Hallelujah. Worship team, help us. Please, those of you at the side, please make sure that you just join us while we lay hands on you. Check yourself. Go back to your seat. Check yourself. Whatever is wrong with you, you'll be healed.
Poroto Sotoba, Pete Catele Cadema, out, go, come out, come out, come out, come out, fire upon you, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now, be gone, in Jesus' name, you're out, go, go. Fire upon you right now. Satan, get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Go. Go in the name of Jesus. Now, your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Go. You are a wicked spirit. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you out with a loud shout. You are going out. Go, go now. Go, 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 go on your mark. Set, go. You're free. Thank you, Jesus. The demonstration of your authority of light over darkness make sure you are praying whatever the sickness is it will go for you make sure you go back to your seat giving thanks and rejoicing it doesn't matter what is wrong fire right now come out come out of her come out Come out! Come out of her! Out, my devil! Come out of her! Fire upon you right now! Come out in the name of Jesus! Out of her! In the name of Jesus! Go! Your time is up! Over this family! Spirit of poverty! Go! Go right now! On your mark, set, go! Go! Go, go, go! Go, you must go! Be cast out right now!
Let her be free right now. Telling you the presence of God is mighty in this place. Malaka prosa tala bakaria, sheda balada bonga, zatekra tabalada ba. I'm seeing families, the curse of delay, marital delay. The Lord is showing me over families. Come out of her. Come out right now. Come out. 
Come out of her. Come out of her. To fall on me. Open the blood. In abundance. And cause your rain to fall on me. You are going. Go, go, come out. Go, go, go. Your time is up. Those foul devils on your mark, get set, go. Right now, I set you free. Every manifestation of darkness, go. In Jesus' name. She's free. purpose was the son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the wicked someone has a problem with the left side of your ears the left side of your ears who is that person the left side of your ears is as if there's water the left side of your ears the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. says and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten the palmer worm please be sensitive everything we are doing here tonight is very prophetic and I will restore to you there are two families here that need major restoration the Holy Spirit is going to bring them out they will come out by themselves under the influence of the Holy Spirit two families wherever you are I subject you to the influence of the Holy Spirit two families you will come out by the power of the Spirit leave them alone they will come out by themselves there's one more family by the by the influence of the Spirit Major restorations. One at that side again. One at this side again. What is an angel doing there? At the back. At the back. I'm seeing an angel moving at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord moving at the back. They are all coming out by themselves. They are going to come out by themselves. This will be the sign that they are, that is the prayer point I'm talking about. Major restorations. Major restorations. 
it's the Holy Ghost that will pick you. A lady from the back will start running out by the power of the Holy Ghost. All of them, you will come out. Don't, no, but don't hold her. She will run and come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. There's still one more lady at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord there. There's still one more lady. The power of God will take you. This is a sign of restoration. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. By the influence of the Holy Ghost. Come out. Take a tele Everyone that belongs to this category. The sign is that you will run by yourself. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's a prophetic sign for speed. The Holy Ghost is bringing speed into your life. Let her family go. Come out. Come out. Come out. Our family must go free. The fire will burn you until you let this family go. These families, mark these families. They will experience major, major breakthroughs in a matter of days from now days from now there are still some people at the back the holy ghost is visiting more and more people families for restoration families for restoration my lord major major restoration hallelujah hallelujah Eight eight one one two five two. Eight eight one one two five two. You or someone in your house has that number. This is part of the eleven numbers. Eight eight one one two five two. Come out. Eight eight one one two five two. And then I'm seeing the last digits of your number again. Seven seven four. A same number. 774 774 is a Zane number is a Zane number these families must be free oh lord you are the lady you are the lady 774 is a Zane number do you know me do you know me come out of her right now out of her Something mighty will start happening now. All of them will start laughing. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. Laughter. All of them will begin to laugh. They will begin to laugh right now. The laughter is a sign of victory. I tell you, it's a prophetic sign. They can't control it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing doors opening in the spirit for their families. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen. Some of you may sit there, you are wondering what is going on in this place right now. This is not Joshua Selman. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Ghost we teach about. Japheth, lift your hands. God is taking you to a new level of the prophetic. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. The Lord is visiting you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Worship team, hold your hands together. It's time for you all to enter a new season. Hold your hands together. 
I'm telling you, a mighty anointing is going to come upon the worship team. A mighty anointing. Hold your hands together. It will move from Yinka like a mighty wind. It will pass. Move right now. The power of the Holy Ghost. Look at, I'm seeing an angel moving. It's like fire. It's moving in a mighty way. My God, let no man stand. Let it move in a powerful way. All across in the name of Jesus Christ. Ushers, all of you come out. Ushers. Ushers, quickly. All the ushers, come out, please. The Lord says to prophesy a new season for you. It will start from this sister, you. The power will start from you and move this side and move that side. Lord, let it be right now. It's not about falling down, but then it will come with power. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It comes like fire upon you. Is setting you for a new season in the spirit. Mark this lady. She'll begin to have a lot of prophetic dreams. It's five of you. The power of God is coming upon you. In a mighty way. Mighty way. All of you in this row, from this brother to that lady, please hold your hands. I don't know what it is. This, yes, just you. Lift it up, please. An angel of the Lord wants to walk from my sister with a baby right to my brother there. Lord, let your power move right now. Across that place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. media just be seated don't stand up be seated but hold your hands together i want to pray for you at the count of three i'm seeing a whirlwind one two three There is a lady you had a dream yesterday you saw me ministering to you there are not many times these kinds of revelations happen who is that lady you're a lady you saw me ministering to you in a dream that you had please come out there is a lady please let's save time we still have some other things to do Baba sister you are entering a mighty realm in the spirit i want to open a gate right now Efata, be open An impartation is coming upon you. You will never be the same. David, the Lord is restoring your family in a mighty way. And even you, the Lord is bringing order to your life. There's a lot of chaos. Your life is scattered. Very scattered. Let your life come back to order.
Hallelujah. Ushers, collect the prayer requests. Please pass your prayer requests quickly. Gabriel. 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 There's a mighty move of the spirit in this place. God is just visiting people. Make sure you don't, those outside, don't think you are not part of this. Ushers, ushers, look at me. Look at me. Leave her. Come out. Come by yourself. Come and stand here. Come and stand here. This lady is strongly influenced by spirits. Come and stand here. Just stand and wait for me here. Right here. Stand and wait for me here. Gabriel, my brother, the Lord is bringing you to honor. 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 Mark this word. Go and write it. Huh? In exactly eight days from now, something major is going to happen in your life. Go and write it. Honor. Watch us collect the prayer request quickly because we still need to prophesy and open up doors and activate the gift of the spirit this lady loves God but has been influenced by devils it's now time for God to anoint you and take you back to your family are you listening to me a prophetic fire will come upon you today that you will never recover from Lord You will never be the same. Never be the same. Those on Facebook are online community. Quickly, quickly. Please ushers, gather them and then let's bring them. I'm seeing a family. Someone is on a stretcher. A woman. An elderly woman. Is it your mother or your auntie or something? On the bed. Looks like a stretcher. The Lord is saying I should announce to that person that they are getting up. You are the one? Come. Where's the mic? What happened? She has been sick. Eh? She has been sick. Who? My auntie. Your auntie. Where is she? She's in my hometown. She's in your hometown. Ah. Where's your mother? My mother is at home too. Your mother is at home too. Is she fine? Yes. You need to pray for her because what is happening to your auntie is supposed to happen to her. Let's rebuke it. Do you believe me? Yes. Do I know you? Come. Lord Jesus, let there be perfection in this family. Let there be light. See, you know why I'm laughing? I'll soon tell you what the Lord is showing me. I'm telling you, Many of you, your family members are going to be surprised at the breakthroughs. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Many of you don't know why I laugh. I laugh because of the things the Lord shows me. The sister jumping at the back, standing close to Shade's brother. Run from where you are and come. I didn't say walk, I didn't say cat walk, run. You don't know why I'm asking you to run. Look at me. It's the season of speed for your family. Where's your father? Your father is late. You know why I asked where's your father? Do you know what killed him? Yes. What is it? 
He was poisoned. Your father was poisoned. Yes. And this is something that they want to do to another member in your family. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Debbie, God is visiting your family, but lay your hands at her back. Just lay your hands at her back. Just her back. The, the anointing is for you, not for her. Just lay your hands at her back. Father, visit her right now. Visit her in a mighty way. It's not you, I'm not ministering to you. This is the person I'm ministering to. This. God is bringing financial restoration for your family, Debbie. You have suffered a great deal financial restoration now it's time for you to be ministered to restoration in the name of jesus how many of you believe what god is doing in this place tonight as soon as we pray on this request to the ministers many of you by now know that every time we agree on requests like this miracles erupt Many of you, as we are praying, your prayer points, you will start receiving the answers right where you are. Hallelujah. Sas, let me invite the servants of God. Please, Jake's come to me. Whoever has this request, we are not opening it. But I'm seeing here, marriage for your sister. The Lord says it won't pass this year, this request. I don't know who has it. Marriage for your sister. I'm seeing a lady. Hold on, Kai. What is this? Before we pray, someone in your family has stomach started protruding. People even thought she was pregnant. It's not pregnancy. Who is the person? Come out. Ah, this is satanical. Who is the person? There's someone, somebody's stomach in. No, 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 no. This, you, you are not. I'm seeing the lady like we are. Um, what they call it, this lady's hair. But this type that is, how do I describe it now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Where? Who is the person, please? Someone's stomach is a lady in your family. It's coming out. They're even thinking she's pregnant. You think she's not pregnant. Of my sister, let's save time. Who is that? You or someone in your family? Someone in your family, you believe in Jesus very well. Look at me, look at me very well, and you believe you help your family because, my dear, there is a lot of salvation that needs to happen in your family first. Hmm? A lot of salvation, you too. were scared why this is a family please when you when you hear a word don't be scared mm -hmm. madam why are you out for who yeah? what is this okay. has Lord, we bring perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out! Oh. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request, sirs. Honestly, I want you to believe. Stretch your hands. It doesn't matter how impossible the requests are. Just stretch your hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Egyptians that we see today will not see them anymore forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Stretch your hands. Make sure you are praying. I hope this is all the request. 
Father, in the name of Jesus. Answers have been released. Answers have been released. I'm seeing answers like light being released from these requests. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Miracle marriages, oh God. Miracle jobs. Academic breakthroughs. Financial breakthroughs. Salvations of loved ones. Completion of projects. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for we know that the requests here are not beyond your power. Thank you, for we shall begin to celebrate the answers even from tonight in the name of Jesus. None of the requests here, your hand will not bypass them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for great miracles in families and in the lives of individuals in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Celebrate Jesus with you. Now just give me a few minutes and we'll be out. Somebody's story is about to change. Forever. Believe me. Mossax, come please. Let's do this. Just blow. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. Fire upon you right now. Everywhere in this building. An impartation. An impartation. An impartation. Let it come strong. From my left, my right, all across this building. Outside. Outside. New levels. New dimensions. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You will run like Elijah. Let it hit you like a tornado. Let it hit you where you are. Let it hit you with power. Like a mighty rushing wind. Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 You become unbeatable. You become untouchable. I put a mark upon you. I put a seal upon you. The seal of the blood. The seal of divine protection. The seal of greatness. 
I put a mark upon you. 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 The mark of the blood. The mark of protection. The mark of victory. Lift your hands. I command doors of supernatural favor. Hear me in the spirit. Be open unto God's people. Koinonia, receive favor. 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 I program your spirit. Take favor. completed project in this place I command let the Lord visit that project before the end of this year completion of houses projects in the name of Jesus every delay in relationship or marriage I cause it to its roots now in the name of Jesus Every plague of barrenness, inside and outside, everything called barrenness in your life, I curse it right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I command a restoration, whatever you have lost, in the name of Jesus, a sevenfold restoration. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at me. I want to break the curse of poverty over families. I always do this. Everybody look at me. I want you to bring out a seed. You know that we don't, if you don't believe it, just keep your seed, please. Bring out a seed. Bring out something that will touch you. Just lift it up. Many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you tonight. Inside and outside, please share with somebody who doesn't have. This is not about money. This is about spiritual principles. Please bring out a seed. Lift it high above your head. I praise God for the salvation of families. Lift it high, please, everyone. Please make sure you are holding something. Just lift it. Lift it high. Now watch what happens. There are spiritual and physical principles that bring wealth and prosperity. Hallelujah. For many people, you have done the physical ones. But certain spiritual forces of darkness are keeping the blessings of families just lift it up many of you will be surprised just hold it because that will be your uh, just lift it just lift it now the power of god every family suffering under financial curse just lift it you'll be surprised right now lift the sea to heaven my god like the sacrifice of abel visit it now in the name of jesus Rakatalata Bokaya. Poverty be gone. I cause failure and poverty. I tell you, doors of finances are opening in the name of Jesus. Let your seed speak in the realm of the spirit. My God, let it be a symbol. He took a sacrifice. To bring poverty let this sacrifice end it in the name of Jesus 
he took partnership with the realm of the spirit for the cause of poverty to come in families by our partnership with the holy spirit we introduce a new era of undeniable inexplainable financial blessings just lift it just give me 10 seconds god is going to visit people right now all across financially 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine do it my god let your people know that you alone are god and that besides you there is no man lift up the seed now i declare supernatural increase in the name of the lord jesus i pray for your seed let it go around this universe gather its kind and return back to you i command it go around the universe gather anything that looks like what you are holding return it back to you i instruct it go around all earth hear ye the word of the lord job says as for the earth out of it comes bread cast your seed gloriously ushers locate them as they drop it please do that quickly let's round up i'm telling you god is going to surprise many of you from this meeting believe me believe me god is not a, a man that he should lie Many of you right now, as the, as the power of God is touching you, your family members at home, God is visiting them. Hallelujah. 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 Look up. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare to you that in this next month of May, if your ears can hear my voice, I pray, my God and my King, let it be a season of honor beyond your imagination. I prophesy as one sent from God, if I be of God, I pray that this next month, my God, let there be testimonies of honor it's a season of supernatural exploits i prophesy supernatural honor i provoke it from the realm of the spirit there's someone your dad is a banker he was taken away from the bank because of a case next month before now i'm 14th you'll be reinstated again hallelujah now look at me if you are here listen everybody keep standing and you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ or you've once given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing now is the time to make a genuine commitment the Bible says as many as will come he will in no wise cast away we're going to give you an opportunity now inside and outside you probably were invited by someone or you've been here and you've seen what the lord has done you've seen the wonders of god and the lord is giving you an opportunity for a fresh start as i count one to five please inside and outside as a family of faith i like us to celebrate such people leave your seat and run out right now everyone one leave your seat and come you are welcome Thank you, sister. Thank you, my brother. Outside, we're inviting you. Come and make Jesus Lord of your life. Appreciate them, Koinonia. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. 
God bless you. God bless you. Don't sit back. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. My sister, I see you. God bless you. I see you. God bless you. Appreciate them, please. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Now, look at me. I salute you for making this bold decision. Hallelujah. The Bible says as many who will come, he will in no wise cast away. This is the beginning of a real journey for you. Are you listening to me? Lift your hands, all of you in front. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Please say it from your heart. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the son of God. I'm unable to help myself. I repent of my sins. I believe you died for me. You rose again for my justification. Today, I confess you as Lord. I receive your sacrifice and your love. I declare that I'm born again. I receive eternal life in my spirit. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no place in my life. I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at me. Thank you. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, the ushers will lead you. You will follow them in one minute and then Pastor Jakes will be meeting with you tomorrow. There will be a follow-up for you. What time, sir? What time? Seven. Seven tomorrow. Please come into chapel. You meet with Pastor Jakes and he will follow you up. God bless you. Celebrate them, everyone. Hallelujah. If this is your first time worshiping with us in our April Miracle Service, jump like a champion you know you are and run out quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Come on, come out quickly. We want to bless and prophesy over your life. Wow, wow. I tell you, run like a champion. I like these guys. Look at them. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus for what he's doing? Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.